Hey everyone, Bobby Lee here, test editor at Bicycling. I just took delivery of the new Cannondale SE, so I'm pretty stoked to get this thing out of the box, build it up, and take it for a ride. The first thing you'll notice from this bike is the redesigned rear suspension. Cannondale ditched their old single pivot suspension in favor of a four bar linkage. And they've also gotten rid of the rear pivot that you might expect to see in favor of what they call a flex pivot. You can see these super flat chainstays down here and this is actually carbon plates tucked inside the chainstay. And Cannondale says that all of the flex in the stay is coming from right on this spot. The seat tube and bottom bracket junction also got a full redo and the lower pivots that used to be outside of the seat tube are now tucked inside of the seat tube. There's also a nice little mud guard right on top of the pivots, which does a good job of keeping out some of the dirt that's coming off the back wheel. There's a compartment for a Fabric 8-in-1 multi-tool, as well as a Dynaplug racer tool and a pump or CO2 cartridge. We've got 120 mils of travel front and rear, Cannondale download dropper post, 2.25 inch Maxxis Recon Race on the rear, which is a super light racy tire. And then on the front, we've got a slightly bigger Maxxis Ardent Race, 2.35 inches. Still super light, but just a little bit more tread to help that front tire link up on the trail. The Shimano XT 12-speed drivetrain, we've got hologram cranks, and we've got a 34-tooth chainring, which is a little bit unusual for a bike like this, but it's indicative of the fact that Cannondale thinks we're gonna be hauling some ass on this bike. The interesting thing with this bike is that it looks big. It looks big and burly. The shock is big. It looks like a heavy, kind of rugged trail bike. But as soon as I got into the woods, it's got this super lively, really enthusiastic feel to it. That really feels almost more like a cross country bike. The rear suspension is just phenomenal. It's almost like I can't go wrong. There was actually some teething issues learning how to ride this bike because that suspension was so good. I was just blasting right through stuff and starting to run into some pedal strike issues that once I started paying attention to pedal placement like I normally do when I ride, I can just pedal straight through some crazy rocky stuff that used to normally have me being a little bit more judicious with my line choice. Uphill, this bike feels as light and lively as any other cross country bike I've ridden. But then on the downhills, that extra travel really feels good and I can just absolutely rip. I'm not ready to get rid of my short travel bike for cross country racing, but this bike is making a really great case for being an awesome everyday rider. One of the tough things about this bike is that it's hard to put it in a neat little box. Although you can definitely race it as an XC bike, it is a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than most modern cross-country bikes. It's going to be a few pounds heavier and without the remote lockout, some riders may not like it for traditional cross-country racing. It's also not quite a traditional trail bike because you would think about more travel in the range of 130 or 140 mils and this is just 120. So if you're a hardcore trail rider, maybe this bike isn't quite big enough for you, but if you're the kind of person who's stuck between wanting a cross-country bike because you like something light, fast, and quick, but more of your riding is spent on just all-day trail rides and ripping around the woods. This bike can be a really good option for you because it gives you everything you want on the trail, but it also gives you plenty of bike to work with if you want to go and race. So what do you think? Are you as excited for a super light, super fast trail bike as I am? Let us know in the comments, check out bicycling.com for the full review and be sure to subscribe for more videos. The first big change you'll see is this ant crawling on the camera.